In studio with the Admiral Bill Stubblefield, two star. Good morning again, Rob. Great to be here. Mary Lawrence, an all star. Good morning. Jason Barrett is also in the house. Good morning, Jason. He's a star. Too. Good morning, Senator Jason Barrett. <laughs> Good morning. Thanks Good for having me, as always. And for having you as always, or thanks as always. Thanks as always. Because you know you don't have me very often. You're no. right. Yeah. I try to get you more often, but you're a very busy. Nah, man. No, don't don't tell your listeners that I'm unavailable. You're that like, is not I gotta, true. I have to beg to come. I got to cover show. a shift at beg to Come on the Friday panel. I don't want to hear it. I got to make pizzas. I got to mail things. You got a lot of businesses. You Doing know? a lot, man. You're Doing a lot. Busy man. <laughs> You know, you got real estate deals. <laughs> and on top of all that, all the list of things that Summer has me doing. So. We got uh, Tony Petrucci, the county clerk, via telephone with some early voting totals. Good morning, Tony. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for having me again. Yes, sir. What do you have for us this morning? Well, today, uh, we had a, another good day yesterday of 2,931 people that voted. Um, I'll just break that down for you real quick. Bettyton area. But the, the, the uh, where we have the better, you know, the early voting place, uh, one thousand nineteen here to Dunn nine zero seven and the Pikeside substation uh, one thousand five, uh, bringing a total of people that's voted early so far sixteen thousand four hundred twenty three, and of course that's not counting our absentees yet, which a couple of days ago, which was around. 1709 um for mr stubblefield's um deal at 17 percent of the uh 94,000 registered voters so we're already tony at what we uh we're at the primary so well done yes sir so. yes sir mm -hmm. 17 mm -hmm. percent in the bank yeah. yeah as they say there in the bank all right yeah Tony, are, yep, so. have you seen anything that uh, has needed cleaned up? Any issues that uh, have popped up along the way? No. Uh, we've tried to accommodate uh, you know, our handicapped or older people, people who need assistance here, not only at the Dunn building, but at each, each other polling place. Uh, we take them first if they need assistance, and instead of them waiting in line. That might have been some of you know, like the first couple of days we, we – we saw a lot of that. Uh, I've already got people wanting something out towards the Hedgesville area. I will tell you that um, for maybe the next election, which would be in 2026. So once we get this done, um, we'll take a look at you know the expenses. You know, just off top of uh, for, for your all's uh, info for for a 10 day period, just for payroll on my end. That's not counting what. You know, we have we have bailiffs here too at not only Dunn Building but at Pikeside and Bettyton, uh, 24 hours. Um, I'm not really sure what they're what the, what they pay them, but just for a 10 day period on um, uh, payroll for us uh, at a polling place would run around fifteen thousand dollars, and that's not counting you know equipment, additional equipment we would need and. Um, you know some other incidentals so you know we'll have to take a look at that uh i'm sure the commission would would go along with it i don't think there'd be any issues there but it, but it's you know finding the right location finding people to work it and and uh move forward with that is always a challenge uh for that tony so, the last but I'm sorry, Tony. Go, oh, go ahead. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, the last couple of three elections, there have been a problem with uh, uh, notification. This is on the day of voting, November the 5th. Uh, mm -hmm. The wrong polling uh, site was been cited in some of the literature that's been received. Uh, do you have, I hope that that's been rectified and will not have that problem this year. You're, You're talking, talking about, about precincts? Yes, about exactly precincts. right. Yeah. Uh, yes. We, the, the staff has, since we've, you know the last election they've they've worked hard to get uh a lot of that corrected uh they've communicated with the people they've called them up to make sure their cards are correct or the precincts are correct are we going to have some that's probably still not you know up to snuff absolutely but you know they can still vote there provisional and it's still counted uh later on uh, so i think it'll be much better than it was in 20 uh, 22. Very good. The way I said. Thanks, yeah. Tony. Thank you. But if if it's not, it's your it's your fault, Bill. 
Because <laughs> you brought it up. Yes, you did. All right, open until 5 o'clock today, 8 until 5 uh, through Friday, and uh-huh. then 9 to 5 Saturday, correct, Tony? And that's it, and that'll be it, and then we'll have the big one on November 5th. All right, thank you, sir. Much appreciated. Talk to you later. You yes. Go back to bed now, Tony. <laughs> go back to bed. Yeah, right. Okay. See you later. See you later.